Alan Kaisinger joining us from the Pinson Area Boys Basketball Team here on the Java Dola Show at our Carolyn Janelle's Takeaway Kitchen. And uh, Alan, here we are, another season. And uh, what's the talent level like here for the Patriots this season? You know, we're a senior-laden group. We have nine seniors this year. Uh, and we also have a couple sophomores that are going to help us out this season. And there's some young players in the, in the league. I know... Uh, you know, Tulkanik has a couple of guys up and down the lineup. Sem's kind of young this year. And go to Hazleton, they have some experienced guys. So you go all over the Wyoming Valley Conference, I think you're getting a, a, a good mix of everything. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it's not, on its, it, not a unexpected. Uh, you know, year in and year out, there's guys, whether they're seniors or freshmen, uh, that can do some damage in the league. Uh, as far as our squad is concerned, uh, Matt McGlynn, a shooter coming back from last year. Uh, Alex McAndrew back from injury, uh, hoping that, that he could stay healthy for a full season. Uh, Nassim Gilliam at the shooting guard position. Uh, and then a, a young guy at the point with Brennan Higgins. As far as uh, what your expectations are um, with your team, as far as offensive, more defensive. You always seem to be a defensive kind of guy. Uh, Pitts, and you, you, you know, you're probably prefer the scores to be in the 50s and the 80s. But talk a little bit about what you think you have and to, to make that happen. You know, this year I do think that we have some ability to score the ball. Uh, I'd like to play a little bit more up-tempo up this year. Uh, you know, with the mix of guys that I have, I think I have some shooters, and I think I have some guys that could get to the rim and finish, and also a post player in Brian Miller that could score on the inside for us. As far as uh, what you're doing in practice and how these guys are responding, and you know, you know, guys playing football, doing track and field, playing different sports there at Pittston area. How much buy-in you getting into the basketball? You know, I think we are buying in. Uh, we had a successful year in football this season. Uh, you know, first winning record in quite some time. And I think that bleeds over into the other programs in the school. Uh, right now, as far as practice is concerned, trying to catch the defense up to the offense. I think offensively, you know, we're, we're doing some good things right now. Defensively, we're lagging, lagging back a little bit, but I think that's the situation where it takes five guys to play defense, where sometimes you can get away with one or two guys playing well on the offensive end. You can do quite a bit of scoring that way. But coaching-wise and, and, and being able to stay at it, you know, in different coaching avenues, you see coaches, you know, they use the term being burned out or maybe moving on and spending more time with their family. For you, uh, talk about how the game of basketball has been good to you and and why it's still pretty fresh in a, in a guy. At, every year you're getting a little bit older, but you still look pretty young. Yeah, well, I'm trying. Uh, you know, I got started coaching when I was back in college uh, quite some time ago, about 16, 17 years ago. Uh, I've never not coached while being employed. And it's something, you know, I, I asked coaches that were on the outside looking in, you know, what's it like on the outside? And uh, you get mixed reviews there. I'm not certain how I would do on the outside. Someday I may find out if my wife and I have kids. You know, I, I'll probably have to step away from the game for a little while and reinvent myself a little bit. Maybe come back as an assistant or uh, just help somebody in a volunteer voluntary status. Alan, uh, great to catch up with you. Enjoy uh, some family time over the holidays and enjoy the time with your players as well. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Nassim Gilliam joining us from the Pittston area boys basketball team here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Nassim, it's your senior year. Uh, so uh, what are you expecting this year for the Patriots? Um, I think we could be a very good team. We're very athletic all around. We have a lot of experience. And when we get in transition, it's hard to stop. I honestly think that we could be one of the top teams in the district this year as long as we put all the work in, and I, then I think we'll be good. What do we see when we see Nassim out there on the court? What kind of player are you? Um, I'm a really intense guy. I love to play defense. I can score when the team needs me to. Um, I'm good at like reading, reading certain situations, and I help the team a lot when it comes down to the wire. Coach Kaiser, uh, talk about the type of coach he is. Uh, Player friendly at the same time, he expects a lot out of his players. Oh, he's a great coach, honestly. He's real easy to talk to. If you ever need anything, you can go to him. He's also like really smart when it comes to, like certain situations, and I deeply appreciate that about him. He's always there for us as a team as a whole. 
and all around he's a great guy. Shooting guard, uh, talk about the time you put into to shooting, uh, whether you're shooting a lot, you know, at a park, in the gym, and just trying to get more comfortable and, and increasing your percentage a little bit. Well, I grew up, when I grew up, I was mainly like a drive to the basket type of guy. Then my father kind of explained to me that like, if I want to play the next level, I have to learn to shoot better. So over the years, I asked Coach K to like, teach me like the right ways to shoot, the right form, the right legs, like just the little ticks and stuff. Track and field, something uh, you also do, and talk about what events you compete in and uh, what you figure your favorite is. Um, I do the 110 meter hurdles, the 300 meter hurdles, 4x1 and 4x4. Um, I'm ranked top three this year. I should be ranked top three this year in the district for 110 meter hurdles and top 10 probably in the 300 meter hurdles. And our 4x1 should also be ranked very high as well as our 4x4. ESU is uh, the next step for you. That's uh, the goal. Talk about what you like about East Stroudsburg University and do you want to compete in one of the sports there? Um, it, it's a great campus there. I've been there a lot of times for basketball and for track. I love it there. They're, I watched their team scrims before. Their team is very well good. The area itself is very nice and I love the feeling I get from there. And It's a really beautiful place that I would love to attend it. Social studies and English, a couple subjects you like. Uh, what is it that you enjoy about them? For social studies, it's just like learning the history about stuff, like just figuring out new facts, learning new interesting things, like stuff that I would have never thought of. And for English, it just it just interests me. It's always something that I my aunt always stressed to me that I need to look into. And as I did, I started to catch a really good interest in it. You're a well-spoken guy, yeah. So let's talk about a little bit about uh, where that comes from. I know you really look up to your grandpa. So tell us a little bit about him. Well, growing up, my grandfather was a very, very hardworking guy, and I was always around him. I, whenever he went to work, I would always ask to go with him. He always asked me to just be myself and never look look up to others, like just never be a follower, basically. And going through all of that, he just pushed me to realize that I need to like focus on myself more and just get what I have to get done. A couple of younger siblings, I'm sure they're looking up to you and. What kind of lessons do you give those uh, those younger uh, siblings? Um, I just tell them to follow their own path. Like, yes, I understand I'm their older brother, but I also want them to grow up doing their own thing. I don't want them to just follow my footsteps because they see me doing it. I want them to re live their life the way they want to. I want them to grow up to be even better than I am. I, just, I love my younger brothers. Uh, it's great to hear your story, Nassim. Uh, we wish you well and uh, continued hard work for you. Thank you. Brian Miller with us. He's a senior for the Pittston area basketball team and uh, Brian let's talk about your role this year on the squad. Uh, I'm a senior on the center on the team. I really just sit in the post and uh, play defense, score, that's about it. Defense pretty important with Coach Keisinger. So oh, yeah. Talk a little bit about uh, some of the role you know that you have as a defender and him pushing you making sure you're not lazy. Yeah well um, I always have to guard like the more athletic bigger guys. I'm, I'm quicker than most of them, so I can keep up with them. Uh, I'm a tall, strong, I just good post defense, stuff like that. He wants rebounds, he wants yeah. boxing out. Oh, yeah. You got that down, huh? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> You're never good I enough. I knew that I can't. I, I hear you. Uh, you have a, a couple of siblings, a, a sister and a brother. Tell us a little bit about yeah, both uh, of them. My sister, she's 10 years old. She's uh, she doesn't play any sports or anything. She kind of just, she likes video games, stuff like that. Uh, she plays a lot of Minecraft. Okay, cool. She, uh, but she's pretty smart, top of her class. So uh, my brother, he's my great stepbrother. He kind of does the same as her, plays video games, no sports, works a lot, hard worker, also good grades. But yeah, that's about it. They come out and see you play? No, actually they don't. Either <laughs> of them come, they could care less. <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about math and web design. All right, uh, math has always been one of my favorite subjects and everything, but then uh, web design, uh, that's kind of recent. Uh, that's what I want to go to college for. I want to go for programming and stuff like that. And it's just really interesting to me. It's fun, it comes easy, and I just, I don't know, I enjoy it. 4 0 kind of guy, huh? Yeah. What's it bit. like, uh, you know, having good grades like you do? Um, I don't know, it just kind of comes naturally. I don't really study that much. I, mean, I never have. I just, I don't even pay attention. I just, you're, just a rare, kind of, you're a rare bird, yeah, buddy. I just don't think, I don't know, I don't think about it. Computer science major, talk about that. Um, like I said, with the web design and everything, it just comes easy, it's fun to me. I like like the problem solving, and 
all the stuff like that. Um, what do you want to do uh, with that? And then um, is college going to be close to home, far away? Does it really matter? I'm trying to. It doesn't really matter, but I want to go to like a bigger school. Uh, I'm thinking about Temple. I'll probably be going to Temple. So not too far. I can still come home and visit. But I don't know. All my uncles and everything did the computer science and soon work it out pretty pretty good for them. So. Well, Brian, uh, we wish you some uh, some fun family time uh, over the holidays and yeah. enjoy these Patriots right. for Pitson area. All right, thank you. Shamik Stevens joining us from the Pitson area Patriots basketball team. And uh, Shamik, you're a power forward, so uh, let's talk about uh, what you think you could do this year for your team. Um, I think I could provide valuable minutes off the bench, getting stops for our team, and just keeping us. And, like, for us to have wins this season, we pretty much want to make it far this season. What do you like about your teammates? Um, I get along with majority of all the teammates, actually. Um, Brennan Higgins, I like to hang around him in the locker room. It's pretty funny. Um, Matthew McGlynn is pretty funny, too. And Stephen Gillian, he's my best friend. I've known him since seventh grade. As far as uh, other sporting events you do at Pittston area, you're a track guy. So what events do you do with track and field? Um, actually, this is going to be my first year doing track. Um, I think I'm going to pretty much just do different jumping events, probably triple jump and long jump. Hassan Maxwell, one of your, uh, your siblings, you also have a, another sibling, so tell us about both of them. Um, well, my sister, she's in the younger grade than me, she's in 10, I mean 11th grade. Um, I get along with her a lot, I grew up with her, that's pretty much my best friend too. Um, and my older brother Hassan, he goes to King's College now, he was good at football and basketball. and. He's more like a father figure to me. I grew up with him. I didn't really grow up with my father, so like I look up to him a lot. Talk about some life lessons that he tries to teach you now that he's in college, and when you're in college, you're still learning stuff, but uh, uh, how about some simple things? Simple things, listen to my mother, try not to get on her nerves, um, get along with all types of people because you never know when you'll need them in life, and just to make the best out of high school. You like to go to college, uh, and, and is it sports something you want to do, or you just yeah, want to? Yeah, I think I want to play basketball in college. How about a major? Do you think about that yet? Um, I think I want to be a sports management. I think I want to be a sports marketing manager. That sounds pretty cool. And then maybe yeah. wind up in Florida. Yeah. Any family down there? Yeah, my dad lives down there. My dad's side of family lives down there, so I got a lot of family out there. You gotta like the weather in Florida, that's for sure. Definitely do. Well, Shabik, uh, we appreciate your time. Enjoy some uh, some family time with uh, your brother and some other members there. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. Savion Lake joining us from the Pittston area voice basketball team here on the John Mandola Show at our Carol and Janelle's Takeaway Kitchen. And uh, Savion, uh, what kind of talent do you bring to this team? I like to cheer for my team while I'm on the bench. I come off the bench as a point guard. And when I do get in the game, I like to get my shooters, like such as Matt McGlynn and Nassim Gilliam, the ball, so they could knock down threes and feed my big men, such as Brian Miller and Kemar Woodjoff, to score in the paint for us. What kind of energy do you bring off that bench? I try to get in the game, go hard all the time, as much as I can, and give my team, keep us in the league, or pull away. What's uh, your relationship like with Coach Keisinger? Talk about uh, what he's all about there at Pittston area. He loves us dearly. He works with us in practice every day, gives us time. Not hard on us, but he wants the best for us and tries to make the team better every day in practice. How about some guys that you think might have a big year for your team this year? Um, the team, Gilliam and Matt McGlynn, they are by far the best on the team, but we're such a good team, but they are, they are our leaders. You do uh, track and field. Uh, what events do you compete in there? I do hurdles and pole vault. <laughs> pole vault, huh? Yeah, hard. That is pretty hard. Yeah. Well, you had one of the best around in the state and, you know, almost the nation there at the yeah. Abbey Norwillow, that's for sure. Yeah, so a lot to learn, good. right? Yeah, she's good. Uh, let's talk about, uh, you have a big family, so talk about the, the siblings. My youngest sister, Malia, she just did cheer, started this year. She's six years old, and she's very fun smiles all the time, brings a lot of hope and just joy to the family. And my brother Jazz, he's eight, he just started playing football for the Derry Wildcats. Um, he plays hard, 
He's funny. He <laughs> makes me laugh all the time. How about the, them cheering you on? Do they come and watch it? Yeah, they try to come to the game as much as they can and help bring hope to the team. Geometry and history, a couple of your favorite uh, subjects. Why do you enjoy them? I like geometry because my teacher is very cool and she works with me, helps me with my homework. And history is, I just le like learning about U.S. history, a lot about learning about the world. Karen, a 3.0 grade point amateur, you're doing a good job in the classroom. You like to be an athletic trainer, huh? Yeah, I like to want to be able to help people with their needs uh, that are doing sports. Because if I can't make it, at least I can still be involved with sports here and there. Entrepreneur is something you'd like to try down the road, huh? Yeah, I want to be able to open up my own business sooner or later, like a sports complex or a bas start a basketball team or AAU team or something here and there. That sounds pretty cool. Savion Leak from the Pittston area Patriots. Savion, we wish you a happy new year in 2018. Same to you. Matthew McGlynn joining us here on the Job and Dola Show, Pittston area boys basketball. Uh, Matthew, let's talk a little bit about uh, your ball game. How much work have you put into it? A lot. Uh, about 16 years. I've been playing since I was little. My dad, he always had me like a little tights basket. And him and my mom, they always supported me through everything. What do you say the strong point of your game is? Three-point shot. Really good at it. I have 14 on the season already. Well, that's good. Uh, what are your expectations as far as uh, being able to help contribute there and putting the points in for your team? And you got to have some other guys contribute as well. But yeah. you know, being able to whether it's dish it to the inside or get that skip pass over to the open guy. I try to pass it in to Brian Miller. He's really good at finishing. And then Nassim Gilliam, he's an our player. He's really good at shooting. And Higgins, he's good at driving and slashing. Alex. Making those threes like you have here early in the season, does that make you want to work even harder? Are you, are you shooting a lot in the gym? Yeah, a lot. I get a lot of shot up day in and day out. Let's talk about track, uh, what you do there. Uh, high jump and long jump. Uh, high jump's my favorite. I don't really like long jump that much. Uh, high jump. We've got a lot of track and field athletes on this team. Yeah. Um, math and physics, a couple of your favorite subjects. and. Uh, you'd like to be a secondary education math teacher, so talk yeah. about why and, and just something that comes natural? Yeah, math always came natural to me. I was always good at it. It was my dad's favorite subject, too. Uh, I just want to try to help out. Let's talk about your dad and your grandpa. My dad has always been a big factor in my life. He always helped me through basketball, tell me what to do, what I'm doing wrong, how to fix it. Him and my mom always supported me throughout the whole entire thing. They're always there, every game, every event, everything. Well, uh, you got a, a, a interesting team this year. So talk about the dynamics of what you have. And it seems like the attitudes are all good, which is important. Yeah, we're very athletic this year. So a lot of running up and down the court. As far as uh, the future for you, I think it's close to home, far away from home. Any thoughts? Um, I kind of want to go to Kutztown University. Not too far, but about an hour and a half away from here. Uh, probably perfect. You yeah. know, a little away from home, but not too not far. Too far. <laughs> Well, uh, Matthew, thank you for your time. Happy New Year to you and your family, and enjoy the season. Thank you. Alex McAndrew joining us here on the John Mandola Show. We're at our Carol and Janelle's Takeaway Kitchen, and in Patriots 2017-18, uh, you are a senior. So oh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your role this year for Coach Kaiser. What does he say? This is what I need you to do, Alex. Well, I'm just coming back from a serious ACL injury. Uh, I was the point guard the last three years. Uh, I will be playing forward a little more this year to save my knee a little bit, but I do play point as well, so I'm playing both spots a lot. Talk about the battle back uh, from that injury, and you know, I'm sure there's points where you're second-guessing yourself, saying, man, this is, this is grueling. You, you hear about people's stories, so what was it like for you? Uh, it, was, it was rough. The, the surgery was pretty extreme, and it's been a long recovery. It's been 10 months since my last game before we played Hanover, so coming back felt really good. It was awesome. Baseball, cross country, a couple other sports you do with those things you really love, or just kind of do them because I love baseball as well. Cross country is just to stay in shape, you know, help my knee and stuff. But I, I take a lot of pride in baseball as well. Member of the National Honor Society, the Key Club Student Council. You're a busy guy, so talk about some of those clubs. Uh, National Honor Society is a really big deal to me because we get to help the community and just help people around the area. It makes us feel really good about ourselves. Key Club as well, just, you know, donating and stuff. It, 
helping the area, service hours, stuff like that. Well, uh, you got a big family, and you're the youngest in the family, so uh, talk about uh, being you and learning a little bit from those older siblings. Yeah, well, my brother, uh, he's 34. He works on Wall Street, and uh, he played basketball at Wyoming Seminary. He scored 1,000 points. He was a really good player. He was a point guard as well. Uh, he taught me a lot of what I know, how to dribble and all that stuff. So he's helped me a lot. Both my sisters, you know, my sister, my older sister lives in Philadelphia. Uh, she she keeps in touch a lot. You know, she's always coming home to see my games, so that's that's awesome. And then my other sister teaches at our school, so she's always coming to our games as well. It's it's a really good fan group that we have at our home. Math and web design, a couple things you you enjoy a 4.0, so. You're pretty darn studious. Uh, t talk about your subjects. Well, I, I like math a lot. I'm thinking about going into engineering after college or business, something like that. So I, I think math comes very easy to me. You know. How about college-wise? Is it close to home, far away, the right fit? Tell us about what you're thinking right now. Uh, I went to Grove City. I actually like that college a lot. Uh, Lafayette's a really good choice, it's kind of a reach, but it's a really good school. But I think I want to leave the state, you know, within driving distance. Alex, uh, this team this year, what kind of talent do you think uh, you'll be facing in the Wyoming Valley Conference day in and day out? There's some good teams this year. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can't forget about Hazleton. They just, they're just so big and they're athletic and they can shoot. They're just, they're good. They're loaded. Dallas is loaded as well. Yeah. We're going to have some tough we have to play some really good games to beat them, but there's not an easy game out there. You know, Coughlin had a rough season last year, and they, I think they're three and zero. Like, there's not going to be an easy game this year. Alex, uh, we appreciate your time. We wish you the best battling back from that knee injury, and uh, try to get some time in for the family over the holidays. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alex McAndrew from the Pittston area Patriots boys basketball team here on the John Mandola Show.